Welcome to our course, of Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional. Basic Level, for Steel Structures. This time, we have for you a very extensive course, in the subject of analysis and design of steel structures. However, we still have considered this to be a basic course, since we'll start from the very beginning, no needing previous knowledge not only in Autodesk Robot, but in structural analysis software in general. And from that, we are going to take you step by step, so you can learn and master this great software that is Autodesk Robot Structural. Let me show you. Here we have our interface in which we've set a structure, which is formed by a series of frames. Frames that are connected by other elements, such as tensioners, which gives the structure certain rigidity. And also, as you can see, we've placed some supports. Good. Our course will take you from the very basics on how to set this type of structure, how to place the supports, and what type of supports to use. Which are the restrictions in both momentum and displacement for these supports. Including also different types of complex supports. For example, let's have a look at some of them. As you can see, we have several possibilities in Autodesk Robot so you can easily define or restrict each of the displacements and turns, for all the supports in the structure. Whether you choose an elastic structure, a friction one, one with certain gaps, or even a non-linear one. As you can tell, Robot Structural Analysis Professional, has a big amount of possibilities, so you can correctly set any type of structure. But not only that, you'll also have available one of the most extensive catalogs of elements for hot rolled steel structures. All of them, already included in the catalogs of Autodesk Robot Structural. And in this regard, we could also be referring to the design catalogs, as well as the normativity and regional ones. And this is because Autodesk Robot, is an international level software, always concerned to include catalogs from all around the world. So you can set your structures, according to the correct normativity. And on our part, just remember that you'll always count with the help of our experts, in the support center. So you can be certain that all this approach you'll do, all of the normativity, configuration and profiles are not only correctly applied, but accurate from a professional point of view. So that your analysis, is also accurate and professional. Now, this structure can be propounded from creating the analytic model, or if you prefer, Bring it from other software such as Revit, AutoCAD, or even some other programs. For example, here we have this same structure, but created in Revit structure. Whatever the case, we can, from this link between robot and the architectural model, obtain the analytic model, and observe its behavior. Let's see. Here we have the analytic model, and this, with all of its features, supports and even load cases and combinations, can be presented inside the interface of Autodesk Robot Structural. But what's very important, when you are about to propound, design and analyze a structure, is to count with the support of real experts, and specialists, so you can obtain a project that is indeed professional. And that's exactly what we offer with this course, through the support center. But let's now continue, and watch some more details of this structure. Here we have our basic structure, along with the graphs for the bending and shear moments for all the load cases and combinations. Here, we'll be able to subject this structure to several stresses, such as live load, dead load, wind load, very important this last one, especially if this structure exists in an exposed area. For the dead load for example, the software will consider the different sections of the structure for doing the analysis, namely, the weight of the structure itself. Allowing us to have also the different reactions. Here, we are going to ask for the descriptions, all of them that is. And we are going to obtain them, without us needing to calculate element by element. So my work is going to be limited to determine the live and accidental loads, since the wind loads, are also going to be automatically calculated by the software, which is also true for the seismic loads. So Autodesk Robot Structural, is indeed one of the most advanced structural analysis software, currently available in the market. And what's more, the software does more than reviewing and obtaining the graphs. 
We have also the deformation graphs, which can be shown, if we want, as an animation. But let me show you a little bit more. The software, is going to verify one by one all the elements in the structure, both beams and pillars, letting me know if these are adequate for each of the load cases and combinations. Or of course, if these aren't acceptable, suggesting me at the same time, which type of elements I should use. Good, other of the aspects that the software will review, are the connections between the all of the different elements. Since we have a structure composed by several profiles, which can be connected by either welding or bolts. Well, the software will verify the connections between beams, like for instance, this connection here, which very well could be a connection between a beam and a column. And also what could be the analysis results, along with a certain safety coefficient. But let's observe this calculation node more closely. For instance, here we can start verifying the geometry of the pillar. As well as the geometry of the beam. And if we scroll down a little, the angles, and the bolts. And if we scroll further down, we could also see the verification for each of the connections, between the bolts and the pillars. And also, for each of the elements in the corresponding node, where each of the connections of this type, are taking place. So we can finally obtain a verified connection according to the corresponding code, and with a ratio of 0.65. Which of course, signifies that this connection, is in fact adequate for this type of structure. In this same fashion, we can see the same type of analysis for the connections on the base of the structure. And here, is a very interesting thing to mention, and that is, that the software will never limit the criteria of the structural engineer. So for example, if you consider that this type of connections, is not quite enough for some of your specifications, the software will then allow you to perform modifications, across several considerations. Such as the connection between the structure and the foundations, in which we can modify the thickness of the plates. The particular array of the anchorage, the type of welding, the welding between plates, the foundations, the codes and the parameters. As you can see, this is a really complete software that will never limit the criteria and ability of the structural engineer. So you can obtain a project that holds all the efficiency and features, in term of safety and economy. Now, another thing to mention, is that this course is going to be developed in both the metric, and the imperial system. That is to say, that we are going to be using either KIPS, or Kilo Newtons. Since robot will allow us for great possibilities in regard of our units. But besides this structure, we have some other examples, that I'll like to show you. Here we have another structure, which as you can see, is covered. And this type of structure, will be of great use for all the wind load analysis. Since you know how important this analysis could be for this type of structures. Especially if these are placed in exposed areas. Also, we are going to propose and analyze the design of this other structures, which have this particular type of beams, known as worn beams. This particular subject, that is, the design and analysis of this type of structures, is also covered in this basic course of Autodesk Robot Structural. Other of the cases that we are going to approach, are this type of structures, which are not exactly hot rolled profiles, but welded plates used to form pillars, for big projects such as parking or office buildings. Or simply, projects in which hot rolled profiles are just not enough. And in which we must create the pillars of the structure, from welded plates. But now, something that I'll like to reiterate here, is that in Virginia e-learning, all the material created by our authors, is authorized by Autodesk, the company owner of Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional. So you can trust that all this material, has been created with both accuracy and professionalism. However, don't forget that through this course, you'll have the chance of clearing up your doubts, with our experts in the support center. So you can achieve a highly professional level of training and mastering, of this powerful software. Good, we'll be waiting for you then, in this course of Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional, Basic Level, for Steel Structures. Then like all of our courses you'll have always available in your computer, watch as many times as you want, 
whenever you want, and with the help of our experts, through the support center. See you later.